Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing my rolling year-long project pan intro. I was going to say update, but it's my intro. I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13 products to share with you guys, but I'm going to be starting off this project with. Again, it is going to be rolling style. So once I finish off a product, then I'll roll in a new product as well. Um, let me know if you guys are interested to see like a Pando's eyeshadow, not Pando's eyeshadows. Um, I don't want to pan eyeshadows. Uh, no pan left behind on eyeshadow palettes and kind of include like makeup looks that I do with those palettes because I think that would be a good way to get more use out of my collection. I do shop my stash and pick uh, palettes, but I think if I use all of the shades in a palette or all the palettes I end up picking, then I could roll something sooner than wait until I fill my next shot my stash. Um, let me know if you guys would be interested in that. Again, it'd be a no pen left behind, use every single shadow in each palette, and then I could include some makeup looks that I really liked in that palette. So let me know. And also I'm thinking about joining Deck of Penning, so definitely keep a lookout for those that other project pen as well. So if you love project pen videos, definitely continue watching. Also, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and let's just go ahead and jump right in. So the products that I have picked, some of them are rolling from last year and some of them are not. But the first product I'm going to talk about is my CoverGirl Clean Fresh Powder. And I have the shade 120 Fair. I did do some is it called b-rolls i don't know i did videos on the side to show you guys more, a little more in depth of what the product looks like there are already some rings showing in this product and um i think i can finish this off maybe in the next couple months so this is definitely one that i want to finish off the next product one of the projects from last year uh this is the milani color statement lip liner in the shade all natural this is all i have left and i definitely want to use this up and uh, be able to tally a lip liner used for the year 2024. I feel like this should be done hopefully next two, three months. I'm thinking more three months. So I wanna use this up as well. Next product, I want to finish off that Isom liner that I had in another project. This is all that's left in this side. I wanna use the Aubergine side. Um, there is this side as well. So you can kind of see how much I've used up. I feel like I've only used this a couple times. And I've never sharpened this side, but this side I have. So I just want to be able to use up the Aubergine side and until I can't sharpen it anymore. So that is my goal for this one. A new product in this project is by Fenty Beauty. This is the Gloss Bomb in the shade Hot Chocolate. And this is pretty much new. It's all the way to the top. My goal is to finish this off. I finished off Fussy last year and I thought I only had two other ones of these, but I have three more. I have this one. I got a set with the uh, white shimmery one, or like an orangey colored one and a pink one. So I'm gonna try to make my way through at least one more of these. They still smell good. These came out a while ago. I think I've had these for two, three years already, but this is one I'm going to be working on. I'm going to take this to work and um, be reapplying at work. That's going to work out very well for me, I'm sure. Next product that I have from Fenty Beauty is the Sunstalker Bronzer in Shady Biz. Again, I will include a video of it. Um, in my finale last year, I was telling you guys how I feel like I can see some of the pan. And I think in the video, you might be able to see it. But yeah, this is the bronzer I have on my skin. I do plan on wanting to finish this up completely. So hopefully in the next three, four months, I can get this done and out of my collection. Hopefully in the next three months, I've used pretty much half of it. So I wanna use this up again. The next product, a foundation. I almost rolled in my Fenty Beauty one that I was working on last year, but I wanna finish this one that I have in my hands now because it's more of a glowy product. It is what I have on my skin as well as foundation and it's about done. So I want to work on it now since the weather is kind of cold right now. And in the summer, this product's not gonna work out for me. So again, I just wanna finish this off the beginning of the year, hopefully in the next three, four months or so. So I'm talking about my L'Oreal True Match Nude Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. I have the shade 2-3 Light Pale. This has been in my collection and a product that I really enjoy. As you can see, I'm pretty much less than halfway done with this. And I think this would be perfect more for the beginning of the year or the end of the year. Um, and then I also want to finish off that Fenty Beauty one as well. So I'll probably bring that in after I finish this one and go from there. So this is the foundation I'm gonna be working on the beginning of the year and I'm excited. This looks beautiful on the skin. It has really good coverage as well. And it's, it's beautiful and I could 
purchase it again if I really miss it and it's from the drugstore so that's awesome so I'll be using that up as well a concealer that I'm gonna be working on is my L'Oreal infallible full wear more than concealer I have the shade 360 cashmere there is some window on this already and I can kind of see through it as well I do feel like yeah I can see through it inside the container as well I feel like in the next two three months I'm gonna see where it's at I feel like it's starting to go bad it's I feel like it's always smelt this way a little bit like paint I'm not sure but I don't know and I also feel like it doesn't look that great on the under eyes like it used to when I first got it it's more of a fuller coverage concealer and my eyes I'm aging every single day so I feel like I do like full coverage concealers but I can't really go too crazy with them because of my fine lines and stuff I'm gonna see where I'm at in the next three months or so again I can see inside so hopefully by then it'll be done and yeah my goal is to finish this stuff as well one that I'm bringing in from last year is my primer the Kaleidos tone activator I'm surprised I couldn't finish this last year I have two other um, primers that I feel like they're about done so maybe I can work on another primer after this one so I just want to keep working on this one a little bit of this goes a long way um, if I apply a little bit too much I feel like some of my uh, shimmer shadows crease which I never really have had that issue with any other primers but just with this one if I apply too much decrease so a little bit goes a long way I don't have there's a lot of air in here I have a picture from the last time hopefully I didn't delete it already um how much I could have I was able to squeeze the air out and then see how much product was left and I think it was like up here like there really isn't that much product left um so hoping I can finish this off and next up another product that's been rolling in is my bobby brown corrector in the shade light peach i have hip pants and i want to finish this off like i want to just finish it have a corrector used up for the year hopefully again in the next three months or so this will be done and it's not i feel like I feel like it does correct but I feel like it's not like my perfect shade that I prefer on my under eyes I feel like I prefer like a more peaky toned um, corrector than peachy but again I just want to finish it off I'm gonna put in two primers in my project pan the first one's the other Urban Decay All Nighter um, face primer that I had I used up the original one and now I'm gonna be using up my ultra glow one and this is a dewy foundation grip it's supposed to prep smooth and hydrate and I feel like it's just a gripping primer I feel like there's not a big difference between this one and the dark blue one that I used up last year but we will see now that I'm gonna be working on this and see how it works out it's what I'm wearing on under my foundation as well as this one right here this is the Clarence SOS primer it blurs imperfections in the peach Tone. this one I found that I didn't like when I first was trying to use it up but then I find I found out that I've been applying my primer first letting that sink in and I go and work on my eyeshadow finish off the eyes and then I come back to the skin and do my foundation and everything else and I'm really loving the way my skin looks with this product and or just like in general any primer that I use like I like just the way my skin looks um, letting my primer sink in and working on the eyes and coming back to the skin I just feel like it looks pretty nice and I do have to use like half a pump of this because I feel like if I use a full pump I don't like the way my skin looks it looks a little I don't know like greasy a little bit but I don't have that much product left I'm literally like to right here I'll put a picture up again and I think again in the next two months or so this should be done um, I keep looking at a product that I have on my desk and I'm just like I don't know if I want to put it in this project so we will see we will see I did want to use up a setting spray so I decided to pick this one this one's one of the older ones in my collection the Maybelline lasting fix makeup setting spray um, it's supposed to be matte finish I don't know hopefully it's not if it is it's probably not a good pick for this time of year but I do find that when I spritz the bottle like I get a lot of product that comes out so I think I'm gonna reuse a uh, setting spray bottle from last year the item beauty one I saved it and you can um, unscrew the the top part so I think I'm gonna swap them but I feel like I have like halfway in here um I, again I don't know I need to use it consistently to know exactly what I think about this product but this is the setting spray I'm gonna be working on and then lastly this product here I think I'm gonna leave it in for like three months and if I don't reach for it or if I don't like it then maybe I'll take it out in the three month mark um but it's my Tarte what is this color splash I believe color splash lipstick in the shade siesta and this is the oldest I think one of the oldest lipsticks in my collection 
it doesn't stink yet i know this is pretty old like 2019 possibly or 2017 i'm not sure i looked it up on google and i was like oh my gosh i think i saw 2017 but i don't know if that's exactly when i bought mine so it was between 2017 and 2019 when i bought mine and again it's one of the older lipsticks in my collection i do plan on using this like as lipstick and as also as cream blush so hopefully we'll see how much progress i get with this in the next three months or so i keep going back and forth on wanting to put it in this project because I was like, I want to use up a blush, but I can use up a lipstick as lipstick and blush. So maybe kill two birds with one stone or using it as, I don't know. You know what I'm trying to say? Like killing two birds with one stone, getting some blush in and some lipstick in. So <laughs> we'll see. But yeah, right now I've really been into glossy lips. So I don't know how much I will actually use this as lipstick. Maybe just a tad to kind of deepen the lip color um my lip color and then apply gloss on top we will see again i'm gonna leave this in for three months and if i don't use it that much then i'll take it out but that is my plan so those are all the products that i'm going to be working on in this rolling style project pen now, let me know if you guys are doing any project pens i'd love to check out your intros let me know if you'd like to see a no pen left behind as well and hopefully this video is good to go because I just realized I didn't check my mic and if it's not charged, I haven't charged it in a while. I'm hoping it's charged still. I need to connect it after this video. If it's not, I'm gonna cry. Okay, so if not, hopefully this video recorded, everything's good, the audio's good. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.